My name is Raquel Troya. I am a professor and head of the Institute of Design at the Oslo School of Architecture and Design. I came to Bangalore because of the Cumulus Conference, which is for art and design education, a global organization. I am on the board of that. And we had a conference at Shristi. So it was an opportunity with Shristi to travel out to the more rural areas to experience particularly the empowerment of women is what interests me very much. It was a lovely experience to meet the young girls um, and I, what I have learned is the small, small steps that can be made that make a big difference, that make a big change. And for me, I come from a very, very different country. I'm very privileged uh, in many ways. And it was, it's very um, important for me to understand the global perspectives. I'm very interested in helping to empower women in also my field of design across the world. So it's very important for me to understand the different challenges around the world for women. Because I truly believe the world will be a better place when women have equal rights and we have a good balance between men and women. And so just understanding these small nuances of how important these little small steps are, both with the technology being able for the women to move around the city or the town, I mean the village, um, how important that is. And I think the, some of the women I've met uh, both earlier today um, and today are so courageous. And I know it takes power and courage to do the small but really big things that they are doing. And I, I just wish you so much luck with your project. I think it's wonderful. I really hope that you will just be able to expand it and help more women to be empowered and to claim their rights and to balance our society. My name is Carista and I'm from Port Elizabeth in South Africa and I've been visiting India, I've been here for a week and a bit and it's been a wonderful experience. Um, I've really enjoyed today. There's so many things here that I take for granted back in my country but then also the way that the, the community here and the, the women and the organizers have tackled certain issues for me is just so inspiring so I'll definitely take that back home with me and there's definitely so many aspects that I'd love to, to, to take home and to tell the people from my city about so it's been a wonderful experience the questions that's been asked uh, the girls everyone it's just been fantastic I've really enjoyed it thank you for having me my name is Amanda Breitenbach and I'm from the University of Johannesburg which is in South Africa I'm with a faculty of art design and architecture and I visited the Women's Community Project that looks at the interface of technology. Uh, we visited both the community centers as well as have some interaction with the women or the young women who forms part of the project. They showed us some of their projects. It was very insightful. I've learned a lot. Um, especially through looking at the project, they explain to me how they have crossed certain boundaries which are currently in the environment, such as moving around in the environment and empowering themselves through technology and opening their understanding of their own environment. Um, and I was also learned that in, this is a program that is in addition to their school project. It is help them a lot to engage with the, the community and the environment and it has caused a lot of women's empowerment which I'm really proud of. I'm taking a lot of the initiatives back to South Africa. Um, I'm curious to see how um, this project has helped women in this environment to create certain projects and take them through life and possibly give them a far better future that they currently have, especially when it comes to women's rights and women equality.